Hi Sharks, I'm Chris Pavlica from Elmore, Ohio. And I'm Kevin Consolo from Chagrin Falls, Ohio. And we're the creators of Sneaker, Sneaker Racers. Racers. We're here seeking $200,000 in exchange for 8% of our business. Whoa. As we all know, it's important to look good. Yowzer. Barbara knows yeah. exactly what we're talking about. I like what you're talking <laughs> <laughs> And for many, looking good starts with their shoes. That's right, Sharks. People love the look of shoes with new white midsoles. But they're impossible yeah. to keep clean. We swear if you just look at them wrong, they get dirty. <laughs> the second you leave the house and step outside, not the driveway, you already no. stuck them up. Oh, or man. on a rainy day, humanity. Watch out for that mud puddle. So unless you want to wear a plastic bag over your shoes, no one can tiptoe around these elements and avoid these disasters. We knew there was a better way, which is why Mark's like, what? we created sneak erasers. This is a unique, dual-sided sponge engineered and designed specifically for shoes. You just tear open the pouch, pull out the sponge, and use the white side to easily remove all the scuff marks and dirt and flip it over to the orange side to wipe it clean. And best of all, it's pre-moistened, so you can touch up your kicks wherever you go. It works on all kinds wow. of shoes. Sneakers, casual shoes, sports cleats, kid shoes. Okay, all right, all right, you guys get the point. So take these bad boys with you in your purse, your carry-on, your computer bag, wherever you want to keep your favorite pair looking like new, like before a job interview, or like before going on a hot date. I with you, Barbara. <laughs> so who wants Whoa. To Easy there, Tiger. I don't think you can handle Barbara, honestly. No, nah, man. <laughs> you want to talk about a cougar? Millions. Oh, Ooh, they never seen that much money before. <laughs> Good job. How many shoes will one of these do? Um, it depends on the shoe. We've gotten up to like nine pairs. No water needed. Oh, no great. water needed. Yeah, and that's what really separates us. What does the orange do? That, that wasn't coming very clean. Wait, what? Wait, did, what does the orange do? Did he not listen to the pitch? It's a, a super soft chamois, so it works on any delicate or sensitive materials on the shoe, and it also wipes away just like a pencil eraser. If you left any shavings behind, it just wipes it clean. Well, I have good news for you, boys. It works. Oh, good. Thank good. you, sir. Yeah, it yeah. does work. What do you sell the three packs for, and what does it cost you? The three pack sells for nine ninety nine. And our cost is a dollar ninety-eight. We do sell the one count in uh, one of the largest retailers in America. That display right there, and that's uh, three ninety-nine MSRP. Wow. The sales. We have a lot of tests that have gone very well. For instance, that one retailer started a hundred store test, and we just rolled out nationwide twenty hundred stores. So Who was, and that was that after retail? how long? Wow. That's Walmart. How long? Walmart. Oh, Walmart. Oh, that's uh, that's uh, that's awesome. I I figured it'd be an athletic shoe store, you know, like Finish Line or something like that. Yeah, yeah, that's what I would uh, be thinking. How long did they test it for? They tested it for about four or five months. Uh, it was just higher than the buyer's expectations. And we didn't know anything. Neither of us are entrepreneurs. We didn't have any experience bringing a product to market. We didn't know anything about manufacturing. We didn't know anything about distribution or how even to do So packaging. what is your story? How did you learn? So wait, so, so we didn't know anything, and yet we were <laughs> able to get our product into Walmart. Like, yep. Well, ding, ding, but that's got to that's gotta sting for all the other entrepreneurs out there trying to get their product into Walmart. And like, I've studied everything. I've done it all. I've watched every Biz Coach Reacts video, and, and I still haven't gotten my product in there. Yeah. But I guess, yeah, it's you know. Yeah, it's kind of like a podcast. You know, you yeah. want your podcast to be number one. You've done everything. Yeah. <laughs> still just not getting those downloads. <laughs> well, hey, you, sometimes you get comments like this one from Jay Royal who says, no one wants to see your s-h-i-t-y commentary so you should s-t-f-u and show the full video appreciate the What's feedback up, Royal, man, man. Royal. you the man come on jay royal all you gotta do bros is an antenna that's all it takes you can watch the whole show for free bro it's not even cable so you're either choosing not to get cable or you're choosing to watch our show and guess what jay royal we appreciate you watching brother we do appreciate you watching, Jay Royal. Keep the comments coming. We greatly appreciate you commenting on the most useless channel on YouTube. So two jobless idiot guys. That's yes. I think was another comment. <laughs> two yes. two job I idiot men or so. Uh, yes. Yeah, job, stupid, stupid guy. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> the internet, and we just work our butts off until we figure things out. How much money have you invested in the business? I put my house behind it, so oh, I have a home okay. equity line of credit uh, worth three hundred thousand dollars that we've used to finance these orders. Wow. Okay. You are all in. Yes, wow. sir. Yeah. Hey, but we're debt free as of last week. <laughs> that's, no debt. That's yeah. the big news. You paid it down. You as of last week, we're completely debt free. Wow. 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 Good job. That is not something a lot of people can say. You put your house on the line. You believed in it that much. Uh, now, like, let somebody's got to ask, why would you just not use a magic eraser? Yeah, that's what's going through my head. And the other thing that's going through my head is. 
you're ripping open the package. It's costing three ninety nine. Three ninety nine is awesome. Great price point. I would buy it. Uh, I wish the packaging wasn't so disposable, or at least if it was like a resealable can to keep the moisture in so that i guess you could just wet it they didn't say if you could just like run on some water to like reactivate it or something but they Mm -hmm. said nine pairs of shoes nine pairs of shoes i don't i don't own well maybe i own nine pairs of shoes different types of shoes but shoes that i would use this on with with like white on it uh maybe like i can definitely use it Uh, right i've got so you're so you're know, at least board. a dozen you're, pairs of sneakers. Yeah, I mean I'm I'm, I'm, I'm on board with the product, except I'm not on board with the fact that I mean I already just use a magic eraser, like you said. If my Jays get a little scuff on them, you know, I just get the magic eraser, knock it off, everything's cool. I don't need this specialized sneaker eraser in order to do the trick. Yeah, yeah, I don't I don't know what makes it that much more special. Um, and then then coming in for two hundred thousand. Now they haven't said how many how much they've sold. Uh, mm-hmm. to, to date, so we'll see if they, they dive into that. And we have some cash in the bank. What are your sales to date? 2019, we finished the year at $202,000. Wow, good for you. Wow. And this year, what do you think you'll do? Year to date, we're over $1.1 million and we wow, expect to do one Wow. Wow. <laughs> so, I mean, you know. Oh, hold on. Like, we got to stop and get some clash of that. That is yeah, incredible. All yeah. right. Yeah, our e-commerce is about 12% of our business. We started putting focus wow. into that this year. I thought it'd be more. And already it's growing exponentially, yeah. matching our retail business. When there we put go. money into Amazon ads, our total sales by month are three times our ad spend. Chris, what is your wow. competition in terms of removing? So that, so let me just break that down real quick. So that means that the ads that they're putting together are actually working. I would love to go mm-hmm. and see one of those ads because uh, that. I think that, you know, not everybody that does ads is going to have three times come back to them based on that ads. That's because they are they know their target, they know their avatar, and they know who they're they're speaking to. So they're hitting the right ad on the right people and and tripling that money comeback. Uh, speaking of, of tripling money comeback, Larry, tell the super entrepreneurs who you are, what you do, and how they can reach you. What's happening? My name is Larry Roberts. I am the host. What, Joe? You it's it's, three. He cut me off, brother. It's three. Now I said triple. Like that's why it's it's three three things you got to. Oh, it's the three things. Yes, Yes. I am. Yes, yes. First, it's me, Larry Roberts. I'm the host of the Readily Random Podcast and the owner of Readily Random Media. And I tell you what, man, if you have a killer idea, if you've got a message, if you've got a brand that you want to get out to the masses. A podcast could be exactly what you need to make that happen. Head over to podcastboost.com. Reach out to me. Let's either tweak your existing podcast so that you're getting those results you're looking for, or let's get your podcast launched off the ground. You absolutely should. And if you want to get your your sales rocketed, go over to superjoeparter.com slash rocket and get my free PDF guide with five proven methods that I use when I work one-on-one with businesses to rocket their sales. Uh, it's superjoeparto.com slash rocket. If you want to join my upcoming June 2nd, it starts the Super Sales Training and Mastermind. Go over to superjoeparto.com slash mastermind to learn more about how you can jump in and join us for a limited, uh, inter- it's an introductory price. It's a limited uh, engagement for three months. So go over to superjoeparter.com slash mastermind to check out that because we're going to grow your sales and move the needle right away. That's the goal. Uh, and if you want to get at us, you can get at us like Jay Royal did and tell us how much, uh, how terrible the commentary is here on my, the most useless channel ever. And uh, <laughs> in the comments below or at Super Joe Pardo on all social media. Now let's see if they can use an eraser to erase any doubt that the Sharks have about giving them three, 200,000 for a whole 8%. I mean, scuff marks. There are bulky brush kits that are not very convenient. You can't put them in your pocket. Foam, they go everywhere. Yeah, messy. Gotta, um, fortunately, we, we do have five different patents pending across our line. Wow. And we have been knocked off once. By us. By our own product. <laughs> <laughs> so we, we made an economy line and a premium line. And what's the difference? The big difference is the pre moisten So this is dry. The user has to add water mm. to it. The density is different. This has a scouring pad, not a soft chamois. This mm. is, you know, that's sold at, at dollar and discount stores. And we've sold um, 2.2 million units of that already. And since October, what? I look at the two beside each other. Do I know they're the same company? 
No. Uh, no. This is Shooter Racer and other and the rest oh, are Freeman Bandicoot That's the first in yeah. Shark Tank history. I've never seen Thank anybody you. knock Thank themselves you. off. <laughs> Look, I like this story because it's got sales. Okay? That's, a, that's, a, that's a great that's a great aspect, right? Knowing again, knowing that the the target market that you're trying to to go for and hitting that price point, and then making it so that it's the same name but it's a different product, uh, and and hitting a different market with a different uh, you know slightly different. Uh, logo or or packaging uh, can absolutely uh, you can knock it out of the park and that's an opportunity for you to maybe out you know if you're going to outsource one of the products make the more expensive product in America make the cheaper product somewhere else so you can actually make that product uh, a thing I kind of like the idea of the dry pad though that you add your own water to because the pre moisten moisten thing is like well I guess if you're if you're out you could have it like in your bag or your pocket or something. And yeah, like, the oh, pre-moisten is great for stuff like that. You get wherever you're going. You, you got you got scuffed shoes on the way there. You pick it up your girl for the first day. You don't want to see your J's all, all scuffed up. So you give them a little nice pre-moisten, wipe down, go to the door. She's blown away. You take her out on the date. Next thing you know, you're getting married. <laughs> ding, 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 ding. Okay. What I am surprised to hear is that you're only 12% digital, which is crazy for a product like this. This should be 50% direct to customer. That's an auto yeah. eraser. I'll make you, you that? offer it. I'll give you $200,000 for 15%. Thank you so much. We're flattered that He's you He's serious with that offer. offer. Sure. Yeah. Um, that's a little bit more. That's not one of his cheesy offers. I think my name is a shark. <laughs> is that a no? Guys, there is a lot to like here. I, I wore cleats for almost 25 years, and there's nothing worse than using your metal cleats and having them be dirty. Right? It's a thing of pride. That's something that George. Yeah, Steinbrenner but you get new cleats every time, Alex. Let's be honest here, brother. Okay, you get new cleats every game. <laughs> do, do you think so? Oh, most definitely. <laughs> most definitely. Most definitely. I got. Yeah, I guess for the Yankees and when you're Alex Rodriguez, you you do. Yeah. Yeah. I just always make sure you shave, cut your hair. And clean your shoes, right? <laughs> but when I think about goals and dreams, I like clarity. What can we do for you to take you from good to great? It's about taking the skills that you've already perfected with advertising and marketing. Having that investment will help us take our costs down to increase our margins, but it's also going to help us launch our other brands. So Golf Racers is already a number one selling e-commerce item. Nice. But it is uh, to there clean golf club faces in between shots and clean your shoes. Oh, the face as well. We want to tell you about uh, Auto Racers as well. Auto Racers is an instant detailing sponge. So these are already carried in, in some of the largest retailers in their sector. When you were giving us your wow. sale numbers, were they included or is that yes. separate? They are yes. included. All yeah, part of the company. Included. They're still only 5% yes. of our business. When you came in here, I got a little excited. I saw a single <laughs> product that was selling like crazy, two guys that had all the skill sets to make uh -oh. it happen. And then you started talking about this other stuff. And I realized what I really have here is guys who are inventors. I'm never crazy about inventors because the oh, money It's the same product though, Barbara. Up. Yeah, does that, uh, does she not? Um, same concept. It's a well, cleaning eraser. It's the same concept, Barbara. I know it doesn't have lobster <sighs> from Maine so you can use a food truck, but maybe they have a food truck eraser too. Maybe that would work for you, Barb. Maybe it would, maybe it would. I, yeah, it's a, it's just a branding play. So I don't. I'm surprised she didn't see that. That's that. all over the board. I'm out. Hey, Barbara, thank you so all much. Over all over the That's board. That's ridiculous. That yeah, is so again, ridiculous. That is. I mean, two, it's the same you know, niche. Two guys same who niche. didn't know anything, that not have just one product, but they got like several products, and they're in several big retailers. So ding ding to them. Uh, I, I think and dong dong to Barbara on that one. Yeah, their valuation uh, isn't crazy anymore, uh, especially with that many patents. But it, it probably, I think the best they're the best they're gonna get is probably ten or twelve percent, maybe. I think ten or twelve percent is where they're gonna end up as well. If if they can get someone to drive it down, but uh, I was hoping but you saw Lori over there the already person. whispering to Alex. Lori's already trying to gonna double up on him here with Alex Rodriguez, and they're gonna knock it out of the park. Yeah. Listen, I like don't, that baseball don't get exactly discouraged. the opposite. Thank you. Because inventors yes. are the lifeblood of innovation and products. I mean, she's the inventor here. So, yeah. You know, you, you self project a little, Lori. That's okay. I don't blame you. I've created over 800 on my own. Brand extensions, everything. You get them to your website. You have other things to offer. You're just going to add sales. These are not exactly. exactly. I like Market that you're inventors, well. and you. you also prove that you're marketers. So and you can do both. Thank so you. Um, Alex and I were talking. Yes. And yes. we were thinking that we are going to give you an offer together. So it will be Alex and 18%. I together. 18%. It's going to be 200000 20. For both of us, but 20%. Yeah. Ouch. 
Thank you for your offer. Fiji, I come up. Because you gotta make us want to get out of bed. Yeah, come up. So I, I mean, I look at that point. Just ask. Just you don't have to double the money. Maybe get the money up to like three hundred thousand. And then, you know, you got But you're still going to have to satisfy two sharks. They're going to want more than 5%. They're going to want more than 6%. You're not going to get them at the 12 to 14 range. You're going to have to be 16 to 18% in order to land the deal in order to get both sharks. But you don't need both sharks. Alex Rodriguez would be a great ad, but Lori will take that thing to the moon for every niche in the product line. I mean, I'm surprised she hasn't referenced Scrub Daddy yet, uh, honestly. Yeah. Let's get I think she's still I'm mad from the knockoff we saw a couple weeks ago. <laughs> yeah, probably. The Mr. Wonderful offer looks really attractive. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it, it actually does. I'm surprised he nah. hasn't tried to offer that royalty deal. <laughs> Not to us. But what you need is instant credibility, and you need visibility. Lori and I made a good team. She takes care of e-commerce. I take care of bricks and mortar. And we want to put you in over 500 gyms. Wow. Day one. That's what we want to do to get you started. And then. And I'll help you with like the retail end of the sporting goods stores. And I feel like you yeah, need to blitz the market it. because you I have a even great go back on trademark it. logo and name. Okay, Lori, let's Everything's great. The, the low, and I was going to say that earlier too. That's one of the key factors here. And the fact that their ads work and the fact that their branding works, everything is on point. It's so super clean. There's a nice contrast between whatever they're going for with the first word, whatever product line they're going for, followed by a nice bright white word so you're going from a darker color to a lighter color which kind of gives you that whole cleaning mentality but still everything is precise it's on point looks beautiful and it's going to attract buyers so these guys are knocking it out of the park man no they they definitely are uh like i said it, it, if they if they had a, a reason for the speci specifically for the two hundred thousand, uh i could see them pushing you know pushing it up higher you know try to try to push that money up a little bit uh, like I said, maybe get to three hundred thousand for the for the twenty percent um, to meet in the middle, and and to, yeah, I I I think they uh, I think they should go with it. I don't think Kevin's offer is is enough, honestly. No, <laughs> you got two great offers. And Mark, are you gonna do anything? Say what? Do you oh, 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 did you see the way he looked over? Yeah, he's like, like oh, it's, it's oh, not like. You know, Mark hasn't said anything yet, and maybe that's who we really wanted here this whole time. Say so what? To blow up our e-commerce side. Now? So <laughs> no. All right, guys, guys, look. What does it cost you just to make one of these? It costs 59 cents. Okay, so, and it, could you do one with custom packaging? Yes. Yes, of course. So if I wanted Incredible. to offer one to Mavs fans under the age of 20, Absolutely. or if I wanted to call up Nike and say this should be bundled and it'll cost, we can get it down to 75 cents or whatever. Yeah. Okay, so I'll make you an offer. The $200,000, and I want 12.5%. Oh, ah, there, there you go. I'm, ding, 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 I'm ding, done. Ding. I'm done. <laughs> I love you, Lori. I'm so sorry, but I got to go with the B, the b, b billionaire. Yeah. But it's right now. Yeah. yeah. Thank you for the yeah, for you get, don't, don't sweat the 4.5%. You're going to the moon. That's right. The yeah. right strategy. You know, 20% or 12% with a guaranteed customer. That's not the right strategy for you guys. Yeah, it is. It, 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 it is. 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 No, hundred hundred and ten percent, and he's gonna bring the e-commerce side up from what they had twelve percent was their uh, e-commerce. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't. I mean, I mean you can counter, but okay. Sorry, sorry about that. Mark, would you up it to three hundred thousand for ten percent? Three hundred thousand for ten percent. Oh, he went oh, both guys. directions. Oh, who's the show? Oh, well, okay. So before. Before we, before we go any further, make sure you stick around because we're going to check out their website uh, oh. after this goes through. Man, it went I up really in money hope. and down in, in, in percentage. Oh, my God. It was so they, stupid. If you're going to the moon, don't worry about it. You know, you're, you're getting three times return on your, your ads. Yeah, he was so. mad. That made, that made Mark mad. Yeah. I mean, he already came down to 12 and a half percent. He could be. He didn't even say, are you sure? He didn't even come back with the, are you sure? Are you sure you're asking that? He didn't come back with, he went, no, I'm out. Oh, well. Sting, yeah, live and learn. Sting, sting, they'll still sting. They'll still do fine with Alex and Lori, but they're going to lose more of the company. Uh, it's going to be a different strategy. It's going to be a totally different ride. 
Oh, it so. definitely is going to be. <laughs> guys, I'm not going to do it for less than 15. That's 20. What do you guys want to do? So, Lori, our offer has to appear much nicer now. Now that uh, Mark's Well, out. our offer should have appeared really nice to begin with. It is a fantastic with. offer. Can you remind me what your offer is? I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I'm glad they're all uh, Look at Alex. It. Look at Alex. <laughs> Alex is down there dying, and Lori's like, she's totally offended. Alex is like, <laughs> Barbara's laughing. <laughs> that was a great offer. Can you tell me what that was again? I, you know, I don't think that's something that's happened very often in the Shark Tank, uh, <laughs> that, or at least that they've shown. Usually, they'll know have, your numbers, guys. Know your a, numbers. And these aren't even complicated <laughs> deals. It's not like they're like, no. oh, to do this and the advisory shares and the blah blah blahs and yeah, and then no. and then if we get to this like sales number, we'll make we'll do it. No, there's none of that. There's none of that. Nope. It's just it's, it's like. Come Come on, twenty percent for for what was it uh, three for two hundred thousand? Come on, I'm so sorry. Is he Hell, I'd turn around and go back to Mark for the original money that Mark offered and offer him fifteen percent just to come back in. Yep, yep. I'd yep. I would do that just to try to make up for that mistake. Yep. It's two hundred thousand dollars for twenty percent. It was so complicated. So you guys have yeah. a huge delta between what your perceived value is yeah. and what sharks think you're worth. We love the two sharks. Would you guys be willing to come down in equity at all? Equity at all? We thought 8% was a lot. Would you bring it down at all? Nope. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. And I'll say this last thing because I'm about to take it off the table. We'll take it. Take it. Congratulations, guys. Congrats, guys. Oh, man. Congrats. Great job, guys. Oh, Way to go, guys. It seems crazy wow. to pass up an offer from Mark Cuban. Yeah, but a little bit. On the yeah. other hand, two sharks were going in together, and it's exactly what we needed. A professional athlete who everyone knows, and Lori, who does everything that we need. I mean, need they didn't lose, per se. The they're they're, gonna be, they're still going to be bajillionaires, but... Yeah, yeah. Until the uh, until the match key racer comes out with the magic sneaker eraser. Yeah, um, yeah. So let's check out their their website here. Buy now. Uh, okay, I got Shark Tank on here. Some faces. Love the faces. Gotta love before them. Before and after. I feel like I feel like the before and after should be like at the top here. But so that's yeah. But you gotta ride the Shark Tank wave right now. Is is the thing you know. Yeah, well, they have links to their their auto erasers, their golf erasers. What what is what are you cleaning with the golf eraser? Yeah, well, you're going to clean your, your golf the shoes, and they said they also said the head of their golf clubs as well. As was they mentioned that in the pitch. Oh, See it right the golf there. Club. Oh, that, yeah, those do get dirty very quickly. Yeah, yeah, that's and good. yeah, you can clean your balls with them, and clean your clubs with them, and clean your balls in your club, and you're good to go. <laughs> Thanks, Larry. Uh, <laughs> I love golf. What can I say? Yeah, I'm big, right? big, big fan. Big, big fan. Uh, yeah. So I, I look, looking, looking good here. Oh, that. See now, that's a. See now, that's a use. Cl cleaning the wheels because the wheels are always getting dirty. But here's what I'm going to tell you right now, Joe. I, I used to be a, a huge stickler on detailing my trucks and my cars. Uh, not so much anymore because I'm old. I don't care. But <laughs> you're not going to get all your wheels clean. You're going to go through a sponge of wheel maybe because wheels, getting that the, the brake powder off of the brake wheels, dust, yeah. brake dust, that's going to that, – that's always – it's very, very messy and very difficult to clean with only one rag or one sponge. So I'm not seeing any reviews here. Uh, but if we, if we pop on over to Amazon, for $10, you can get – wow, you can get quite a few – like a big – pack for 10 bucks 10 yeah that's uh pretty where are they awesome. at there they're at 518 they're at four stars oh. yeah i bought this probably thinking it would take the yell out of my sneakers and it did not work the answer they is never no, claimed that it, it would they never claimed it would that would take the yellow out of your sneakers yeah that's a totally different process they're talking about grime and, and dirt and scuffs they're not talking about aged yellowing. It's a totally different process. Mm, yeah, you're gonna need some peroxide. You're gonna need some sunshine. You're gonna need some. You're gonna need a totally different product. They are ma They are magic erasers. Don't shine like pictures may indicate. Don't do yourself a favor and stick with the original. Likely already in your home. Hmm. Ridiculous. Don't waste your money. That's uh, a product. That's I mean, look, I I am a big stickler for the idea that you should be. 
uh, replying to your to your reviews, and it's it's just should just use a magic see. eraser everywhere is uh, yeah, and and that's where I'm coming from is I just I still I mean I think everything they're doing is on point. Uh, again, love their branding, love everything that they've done, love the direction they're taking it, love the fact that they've somehow got patents on it. Um, but I still don't see the benefit of this other than the pre-moistened version uh, over a, dry, uh, a magic eraser. Yeah, yeah. So, well, you know what I love? I love that you made it this far into the video, and if you could just smash that like button for the YouTube algorithm and get subscribed so you don't miss another Biz Coach Reacts video. For Larry Roberts, I'm Super Joe Pardo. I hope you have a wonderful day. Take care.